This is Dana. I just wanted you guys to see something before I start latch hooking my hair. Came up with another idea to solve a problem. So I'm just gonna show you, have my sister show you on one braid. All right, and it's the last one we have to do. I got it, I wanna show them the needle. And this is what I used. And I just threaded the hair through there and put it up under this skinny braid that she did. We did that one first. And then she just latched, looped that hair on there and then braided it right with the braid. And what that's doing for me, my thought is, is, is alleviating the gap that would be between in this braid and going back. And then I try to get those a little closer up front. So when my hair is all done, uh, I'll come back and show you. I don't even know what I'm calling this one. A bridge to keep out the gaps, the gapping. And this is tight. The hair I'm using this time, it's called Model Model Glance Water Wave. Love this hair. Love, love, love. All the hairs that I've used, this one is the most is the closest to my wave pattern. So they come like, well they come this length, that's how long they are. And then you cut it and I cut them in half. So now that they're cut in half, then I break each one of these spirals up into about five to six smaller pieces. And this is actually my real hair's a wave pattern or coil, as we call them, coils. So I just broke them down, have them sitting here in a chair in front of me and I have my mirror. And I'm in my most favorite place of recording is my basement. And I just started, oh, my sister braided it. And then, um, as I showed you earlier, what we did. And now I'm just gonna uh, add it in. So I just thought I'd spend a few minutes with you guys while I did this and show you, you can be inspired uh, to do it yourself. And I also keep my little, uh, darning needle uh, with me so because I feed here into that when I get really close to my edges up here and I didn't want to push the uh, latch hook in I just feed that hook in and I'll show you at one point when I do that but this is there's many many thousands of uh, tutorials out there whenever I decide to do another hairstyle I'll search out to YouTube and I'll just look through put in a couple of keywords to see if I can be led to something that I'm looking for. So right now I don't know what I'm calling this right now and I won't really see the true effects, effects of it until I'm actually done with my hair. But this thought came because I hated that gap right there from my edges if I put a cornrow or around. So this is trial and error and uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of them in and then I'll break out and come back and maybe I get about half done and show you how I do the front. I think I do want to do an invisible on this part where when if I, if I happen to pull the hair back since I'm going to wear it long for a little bit, it won't, hopefully it won't look wiggy, but we'll see. And uh, I'm going to try to go long and then eventually I'll probably end up cutting it. And I'm going to try to go past two months and one week so that's nine weeks this time i'm going to try to shoot for three months since my sister has so graciously corn rolled my hair oh it's still tight so here's what i'm doing to lengthen the hair so i don't have to use the whole thing and then cut off parts of it so i'm just gonna put about that much on there four four inches or so and this is how i do my latch hooking I go back here and feel, I've done this braid already, so I kind of move that out the way. So the second braid I'm doing here, I gotta fill it. I've already put a couple in. And I'm put, choosing to put mine pretty close together because I'm doing thin amounts. You could do thicker, but uh, what I do is just hold it, find where I put the last one in at, go up under the braid, Wrap the yarn around, pull it down, push it up, wrap the yarn around, and pull it all the way through. 
Now this hair, two times is fine. I did one, but one looked like it was coming out a little bit, my sister said, so I'm gonna do two. I've also noted with the straight hair, if I do three latch hookers, look, hooks, it really stays in and I, I might not have to use glue. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to do a couple of these and then I'll do the other side and come back. But I'm just pushing it up underneath there, hooking it over, pulling it down, pushing it up, hooking it over, and pulling it all the way through. And that just saves a lot of steps. A lot of you stick the hook through and put the hair in, pull it through, twist, twist, twist. And I'm able to do that with the true latch hook just in two strokes. So here we go. And also that just cuts down on time. So you, you might end up saving, you know, 30 seconds here, 30 seconds there, you add it up and you save maybe 40 minutes off of a whole hairstyle. And if your hair is already broken up, this particular time I don't have my hair already broken up, so what I'm gonna choose to do is take each spiral, break it up into five or six, and do those five or six, break it up again. Normally, I think on one of the videos, you'll see I just broke up the whole two packs into a shoe box. And uh, that took me a, probably a couple hours of just watching TV to do that. And I normally do that the day before. Okay, now as I get up here, this is starting to get really tight for me. So, because she braided my hair so tight. So I may go up in here and use that needle I was telling you about, which is an extra step. So I have to break down my hair, I'll be right back, and then I'm gonna thread the needle and show you what to do next. This is my little work area right here. My mirror, I have it sitting on a chair. This is what I broke down into one, two, three, four, five, six, about seven small pieces. And this is uh, some gel I use just to kind of wipe down it so it's not really fuzzy. And then, uh, did I say my latch hook? All right, and so then my little neat hook, and what I do, just put it on my finger to, and get it really tight. I'm still, you know, still lengthening. I want some length on this style. And then I just push it through that head. All right. And then I go over here and find and I pull it through. And then once I pull it through, I take my needle out. Now, because I love the latch hook style, uh, I'll just put my hook back through there and latch hook it. You can actually do your finger if you want. Oh, I gotta find where it's at. Here it is. And the shorty piece, because I made mine short. Actually, the whole thing came through. Did you see that? The whole thing came through. So since it did, and I don't like to do a lot of cutting, and I like to show you everything that you will go through while you're doing your hair. So me, I'll just tie a couple of knots and leave it. All right? But I didn't feel that go through there at all. I didn't feel it at all. So I'm going to do the rest up to the top. And it's just a little bit more time consuming, but less pain, more gain. So I'll go to the next one. And I can go down through the top too. Don't have to come up through the bottom. Just push it through there like that. Find the inside and pull it through. And then some of you kind of twist it and pull the hair back through. You can also do that. And then tighten it. By doing that, I only have to tie. So those are a couple of different things you can do. It really 
just depends on what kind of hair you're working with. Uh, still going to keep it on the long end. And eventually, probably I'll cut it. I don't know which way I like the best. Let's go through the top here. Holding on to my end. Woo. To keep it. Oh, that one came out. <laughs> I think what I'm going to have to do is pull it all the way through. So this is going to be kind of hard for me to see. And this other hair getting in my way. And you can tell how the thin amount that I have. You see that, right? Twist it. And pull it back. Nice and tight. But it doesn't hurt. I might make that one a little bit too long. Mm -hmm. All right. Very light. So I'm going to do that a little bit more. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do this side. And then after that's done, I'll come back and let you see how I look. Something else I should have showed you. That makes it easier. After I thread it, I hold the, hold the other end. And by holding the other end and pushing it through, then I have the other end in my hand. I don't have to feel for it. Pull it through, twist it a couple times, and pull it through. Okay? Tight and go on about my business. See how easy that was? So you can use that or you can use your latch hook. I'm going to do one more. I think this is the best protective hairstyle that I've seen in years. And I'm telling you, when I take my hair down, my hair is so soft, it's not brittle, no damage whatsoever. And then I can wear my hair for a week or so. And then I'm ready after about a week or so to put it back up in a protective style. There we go. Love it. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Here we are. That's two rows. Two rows on this time, two corn rows on this side. And ooh, I still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now this is the part where you're gonna to have to make a decision. Do you want it really big? You're gonna put them close together like like I've done here. If you don't want them super poofy poofy, you might want to space them a little bit as you go down. So I'm gonna space every other row because I've never worn it long, long before. Longer, so. And it's seeming to fill in already, so I can imagine what's gonna be like when I get here. I'm gonna really look like Bozo when I get up here. But I love this hair, and it's very light. All right, so we'll be back. I'm back. I'm up to my last one, two, three. And just remembered, hey. I need to let them know what's going on. So here I am. Found out something else I like. This is in half. Sticking my finger in between the middle of it. And I'm going up under this little braid. I'm taking one and I'm pulling it through. I'm twisting it and taking the other. Pulling it through and taking the other and pull it all the way through. And tight. That's a much less... Uh, not smaller, smaller, smaller. Not. Hopefully, my lighting will help you. I'm gonna do it again. Put my finger in the middle of my hair that I'm holding, pretty close to the next one. So, go up underneath there. Hook first one, second, and I'm twisting it back and forth each time I do it, and then pull it all the way through. And I'll show you the difference between that and the one on this side. I didn't do it like that. 
I'm still putting small amounts. I'm trying not to put a whole lot of hair in each one. This is going to be a big hairstyle. So here I go in half. I'm going to go up underneath there. Hook it around one. Hook it around the other one. And hook it around. I probably could do it four, but I'm only doing it three. And I think I'm liking that one better. I think I said one more, but I still can do one more. And then I'll come back when I'm completely done. Uh, my middle part, I'm definitely going to do this technique. Smaller than that. The less it's going to look like. look more believable because my hair color is the same as this so I like that and here's the other one just with the regular I don't know I might like that one we'll see because these this is the last this is my metal part these are my side parts all right I'll be back I'm finished but long too much for me with this type of hair. Very light. I'm going to go and trim it up and see what I can come up with. I'll cut a little bit at a time and at some point something might say I like it. Oh. Whew. Look at that. Got it in good. Now you can see what that one part I did around there looks like. As it grows back, grows out, it should be okay. Alright, I'm happy with it. Not with all of this, but... This is two packs. And let me show you what I have left of two packs. This is what I have left of two packs. A half and two holes, two whole ones and one half and some of my that extra 613 I took out I don't want to have too much of it in there alright so thank you for watching and again this is that model model uh, hair called uh, Glance and I think we pay about 649 a pack for it. All right. And as always, be blessed because you are blessed by the best.